What is up? Welcome back to another video. Today we have Quinton over here. What's going on? Started ripping up the motor today. I don't know how much I said in the last video, which is not in out yet, but by the time this is out, it will be, obviously. But ripping the motor out, putting a new bottom end in it because the rings are gone, very smoky. Started misfiring, probably because oil the rings. Um, yeah, just doing a few little upgrades here and there. But uh, me and Quint are about to rip the box out. Literally ready to drop out. So we'll do that, put the box out, then once the box is out, gonna run to Quint's house, grab the engine stand, uh, engine train, <laughs> and rip it out, get everything organized, and start tearing the motor apart and try to find another motor. I haven't got another motor yet to put in. It's a bit later in the night now. Um, we didn't film take the motor out. But we got it out. Um, I was meant to time lapse it, but I forgot all about it. Yeah, there's really not much to it. This video is probably gonna go on for a few days. I'm gonna just do little things here and there. Um, doesn't need too much, honestly, just cleaning up, stuff like that. Just a mess, touching up a few chips like that um, with the engine bay. And yeah, not much to do with the engine bay, but yeah, just gotta get a another bottom end that's just the exhaust manifold we use to take the motor out for the chain but yeah yeah also the alternator is dead which i said in the last video so as you can hear explains why i was throwing sparks welcome back to another day Yeah, I forgot to start filming, but I was been ripping the motor apart. Just taking stuff over slowly. Just took the manifolds off it. Um, drain the oil, about to rip the timing cover off, sump and the rock cover. Because um, I need to, obviously I'm keep keeping this head on the new motor. Because it's got the valve springs and stuff. And I'm also putting a head gasket. I need the sump because it has a dash 10 fitting welded on. And yeah, also going to use this um, timing chain because it's brand new. But yeah, this thing, let's that oil done one event and it's black. And it hasn't got much in it either. Um, yeah, it's just burnt oil. Yeah. Very keen to have a fresh motor in it. I've also got a new motor. Went to um, Coburg last night. Picked up, picked up a new motor. Bit crooked at the moment. <laughs> uh, FG Mark One gas motor. So the Mark One's are easier because they got the uh, dipstick hole there already, like ready to be drilled out. It's marked out, which this one didn't. This one um, was a FGX motor, so we had to like just get, like, pretty much guess it and drill it out. So that's why it didn't turn out too great. And yeah, anyways, um, myself a bit of a time lapse, I reckon, and go from there. Started on the new motor. Uh, got it all stripped down. Got all the parts I'm not using from it in this box here. Uh, the old FG sump and stuff. Um, just put on the B series girdle. Uh, about to torque them down. Um, got the white wall pump on, which is got the billet wall pump gears, obviously. 
But yeah, get that torque down, trying to get the sump on, um, clean it all up, paint it all in one, the sump and the block. Uh, I've also ordered all the other stuff I need, like the head gasket, I need all, ordered alternator. Um, and what else, water pump, some other bits. But yeah, cheers to TR Performance for the discount on that. But yeah, cool. I'll put the sump on and stuff. Uh, I'll clean the sump and stuff, put it on, and I'll play film painting it after I wire brush it all, which is gonna take a while, but yeah, get that done today. Can't remember where I stopped filming last night, but done a few other things. Um, got the sump on. Uh, today I got a block off for this coolant port here. Um, got some sealant around it. Uh, about to start cleaning up the block for paint. Um, clean up the block and the salt for paint. And yeah, I don't know what else to do. We got the got some stuff in the head to see how leaky the valves are. Um, but yeah. From where I filled them up, hasn't doesn't look like it's leaked at all. The head's on a bit of an angle, so it's still even with this line. So that's alright. I didn't think the head would be an issue. I'll probably just set up another time lapse and get this motor ready for paint, which I can't bother doing, but I have to because I hate the look of the rusty block. So we'll do that. Quickly wire brush. Now I'm just gonna wash clean over, then start painting it. painted looking pretty good and your base kind of getting getting cleaned shiny's giving it a nice clean for me <laughs> the firewall was all stained from oil so it's coming up better now i think my dad's also gonna start fixing the door and the this quarter panel next week because we got stupid tire barriers got in my way obviously <laughs> But yeah, also ditching the stock Hummock Balancer for a power bond underdrive one, um, just to slow the alternator down and stuff. And the power steering was overflowing, overflowing too, so hopefully it helps that. Uh, just ordered a belt for that, 